Hello, my name is Dallas, and I'm back with more Spire 2, Ripto's Rage, and now I'm going into the Idle Springs. So my short-term goal is I just have to get 500 gems in order to get, uh, in order to be able to swim underwater. I'm hoping that there aren't any, like, there aren't too many things, like, in the first Glimmer place. Oop, cutscene. probably check the trophies in between sections, but I completely forgot about that. Spyro! The idols we were carving have come to life! They've locked us out of our temples and stolen our food! How do you know who I am? Well, that's kinda odd. I mean, I guess it's just another excuse to clear enemies, but it seems like that was kind of highly encouraged anyway by having them uh, have collectibles, at least in the first game. Oh yeah, I gotta charge the shields. If I can charge properly. Oh, that one had a Hold on to a guy. There we go. Let me just get this stuff. Nothing to do with those mushrooms, okay? So each of them can those unlock. Those metal shields are making enemies invulnerable to your flame attack. If you press and hold the charge button, you can defeat them with your charge attack. Okay. Seems like that should have been before the shield, guys, but that works too. I can't do anything with those mushrooms, they just seem kind of out of place. And it reminds me of the first game when there was something specific I had to do. Is that one? Oh, those are actually lives in this. Uh, that's a bit different. First one's a little dragon statue, this one's a little it's fairies in bottles. Anything else that I missed? Doesn't look like it. So let's just keep going up. Since he has the door unlocked now. Some tutorial stuff here, which seems kind of weird since I had plenty of time to use stuff like the camera. And I got enough gems to be able to swim underwater now. The next way is up there, so I should check over here. What is this? Guessing there's like a. S I don't exactly know what what to do with these. Maybe it'll tell me in a little bit. Spyro, you're pretty tough. If you ever want a permanent job, we've got a place for you here. But for the moment, I want you to have this talisman. Well, that was easy. Okay, so that's the way back. <clears throat> Almost. 
forgot I have a hover ability now. There we go. Well, it seems like it's gonna be pretty handy as long as I can get the timing right. There's a bunch of stuff over there. As long as I don't miss anything up here, I should be set. I say as I almost leap off before seeing all that stuff over there. I feel like I'm gonna have to be a lot more thorough in this game because they're kind of throwing a lot more gems at me early on. So I'm kind of wondering if that means they're gonna keep escalating or is it gonna keep a consistent pace throughout most of it. There's a rocket. Well, they broke something over there. Anything else up here that I should worry about though? See anything? So I guess I'll just go get whatever this is. Okay, how many more gems do I need? I'm about three fourths of the way there. I think that means that I need to go back up to the roofs that I was at. I don't know if I can get to the other side without going up there. At least it doesn't seem to be a clear way over. I also haven't checked up here. Water doesn't take me out apparently. Thought it was gonna damage me. I guess it kind of makes sense since I could learn to swim. Oh, this works. Except I did it way too early. So that's kind of interesting that there's multiple ways that I could have got over there. It looked like I would have been able to reach had I got the timing right. So, back this way. This does seem like the easier way, though. I still have no idea what those symbols are either. I want to see if I could like hover up to there. So down I go. Well, maybe I have. Don't know what I'm doing. It's fabulous to see you, Spyro. Now that the supercharged power up is active, you can charge through the pedestals and send the dancing hula girls over here to help me. Use the supercharged power up and charge through the stone pedestals. Okay. Let me just grab these first. This one's a super guy. Anime. Well, this is something that's happening. Look at that. The hula girl's ring dance blew up that idol like a Roman candle. 
Now I can pursue that dancing career I've dreamed of. Take this orb. It could help you go places. Okay, there's another orb somewhere here though, and I'm still missing like 90 gems. So where am I missing now? Now the symbols are one. What is there? Maybe something that I can do with a supercharge? It really seems like there's a lot in these areas that I just have no idea what I'm doing. Like these, for example. It seems like fire affects them. I don't think I have a ground pound of any kind. I can try over here maybe. No. So what are these? So I'm guessing I have to get the right shape where it like actually fits. Like this has to be a square and this has to be like a hexagon and this has to be a triangle. The question is how do I do that? Unless there I'm still not sure where that other orb is that I'm missing. Seem like there's anything else over here. Do I just have to leave and then come back maybe when I can like get more abilities? Hey, okay, is there anything underwater for example? I also forgot that I could do this. This is probably one of the most important like, things that I can use. Okay, there's definitely stuff underwater, so I can't finish this area up until I buy the item from money bags. So I should just leave. I don't know if I like the forced methods to make me come back to area, so that seems a bit weird. Because it seems like at the first game you could just clear everything up, be confident that you're done, and then leave. But this one it seems like you're going to be required to backtrack at least a little bit. But knowing how much you need to backtrack for is going to be dependent on each area. Scenes are kind of nice though. And I'm up to 721 gems now. Well, it's kind of weird that I can shift. But oh, there's a little talisman for when you've actually completed the area. Does that mean that there's like four areas in this hub world, or is this like the only hub world? Hello there, Spyro. Would you like to learn to swim underwater? I suppose I could teach you for <clears throat> a small fee. Great. Okay. When you jump in the water, you can use your left stick to move around the surface. Use the charge button to dive underwater. When you're underwater, use the jump button to paddle and charge button to charge. Okay. Oh, this is weird. I like how Sparks gets a little bubble though. Okay, so yeah, there's like pots and stuff. That's what I saw under the 
water in the area I was just in. And I can't breathe fire because I'm underwater. At least there's like no breath meter that I have to worry about though, because that would be terrible. Okay. Looks like just this over here. And I guess through this underwater passage we go. break. And now whatever's up here. Looks like a button. You're well on your way, Spyro. Keep collecting talismans to help us defeat Crypto before he can take over Avalar. Oh, and keep collecting those orbs, too. The professor thinks they will help you get back to the dragon world. Okay, so that's what the orbs are for. I'm pretty sure this area is one that I'm supposed to come back to way later. But I just want to try to get all the stuff that I can first. Well, well, good to see you, Spyro. I used to remember how to lower this wall behind me, but I seem to have temporarily forgotten. If you had more money, it might jog my memory. 400 gems to lower the wall. I could probably... I think I can get that. I don't know how many I have left. Enough. As long as there's, like, no... Well, there's probably going to be gems stashed there, but I guess it depends on how many. Hi, Spyro. This talisman door will only open if you have all six Summer Forest talismans. Once the door is open, Ripto and Crush will be waiting in the dungeon. Okay, so there's multiple hub worlds. The first big hub world has six talismans, and then I'm guessing... And there's 14 in total. What does this do now? Unlocks that, but do anything else. I don't think it did anything else. Uh, and there's a climbing section that I can't do yet. So I guess I'll just go explore this way. work, Spyro. The orbs you're carrying have activated the special portal. You won't find a talisman in Ocean Speedway, but if you're fast, you'll get lots of treasure. Have fun! Okay. Well, I could try out the Ocean Speedway, see what the spiders are gonna be like for this. And it'll let me get that wall without having to gamble on whether I can find 100 gems in the area. Okay, it's the same as before. Pretty much the exact same as before, too. Except I don't know all the stuff that I need to get. And I also forget that there's usually some kind of trophy that I need to get in these. Okay, where do I need to go now? Okay, I need boats, arches, cars, and rings. Rings are easy. Cars seem like the one that's going to be a bit of trouble.
because they're all kind of really far spaced apart. Boats all seem to be right here. Two more. Let's swing back around for rings. that guy. Also an arch. I'm missing a lot of stuff now. Not sure the path that I'm supposed to take pretty much. I don't like how that's kind of hilly. That's a bit annoying. <coughs> I'm also kind of wondering if rings is the way to go or should I try to focus arches first? It seems like arches do somewhat go in a big circle. So arches to boats and then finish up with cars maybe. Actually makes sense. Okay, it looks like I can get him from that way, it's just really difficult. So it might not actually be worth it to get him here. Oh wait. I want to see if I can supercharge to break him. Because if I can do that, then that might change things. Really, I probably should be doing this until later once I know what my, if there's like a secret trophy objective that I need to be worried about. But those are also generally easier to get once I've been at one time. Oops. Yeah, it looks like charging is the way to go here. Oops. Oh, I guess I'll just get the boats. At least one of the boats, and then go for archers, because those are more direct. That seems like it's going to be an important feature. Ow. I'm missing a car and I didn't get the boats. But I sort of know what I need to do now. I should probably just commit to the cars once I actually start them, because it seems like it'll be easier to do that way. Through the tunnel we go. And then maybe 
if you know. Yeah, I'm in a good spot, like right by the boat. Oh, if I hit the water, it's a fail, I forgot. Getting you yeah, swimming kind of made me think that I would just be able to pick it back up. So the boats might actually be kind of the more challenging one just because it's like the only area on the map that I can fail. Cars before arches because I like where it puts me out in. Boats pretty much leads right into arches. Oops. Oh, he bumped me. That was a rough boop. Figuring out the boat's pattern is definitely going to be the key to making those parts significantly easier. The hitbox seems a lot more generous on the charge than I would have thought going into it. Oops. I waste a lot of time trying to get to the first boat. Oh, that's not good. I keep whiffing these. I'm trying to be overly cautious now because I don't want to fail at this part again. This one, uh, don't need to be as cautious on. Because at least from the air, I can at least assume there's some distance where I'm safe. As long as these, there's more than two seconds between those, I should be safe. And I got it. Okay, let's quit that out, and if there's an objective that I miss, then I can pick it back up, and I think I won't have a time limit, and I'll be able to just search around. 793 gems. More than enough to get down that wall I wanted to. Part of me is kind of hoping that if I get enough gems to get as many abilities as I can, that I won't have to worry about backtracking as much. And those flay stages seem like a pretty safe bet. Nice work, Spyro. The orbs you're carrying have activated the special portal. I already did that. Okay, what's this do now? Oh, there's another room here. Is there anything behind this door, or is... Do I have to go through over here? I think I do, actually. Say, Spyro, you see this wall here? I bet you're dying to know what's on the other side. If only I had a few more gems, I might be able to remember how to lower the wall. Ah, yes. Okay, 400 the gems. sparkling beauty of those gems seems to have jogged my memory. Aquaria Towers. Okay, so let me just pick up all the gems here. I wonder where the next of like purchase area is gonna be. I just get the I kinda wanna try to get up there through that window now. Since I'm pretty sure I can get up there somehow. Timing on this right. There we go. It's an orb. Five orbs. Okay, so that's good to note that some of them will just be lying around the area, so they're not all like little, like mini side missions. 
69% on the first one. There's an orb hidden there. And what are the skills? Land on idle. Okay, so there is... I forgot to check skill points. I do have to go back to idle springs anyway. I'm wondering if I should wait on backtracking and just go through the areas now. Or if it would be better to check now that I have the underwater. I think I could probably just keep going through the areas. And if I start 100%ing them, then I can start worrying about backtracking. I also wonder if there's an easier way back than this. I also should probably just charge through the water instead of just swimming slowly. There's an orb up there. I wonder how I get up there. And I do need to check if there's any trophies that I should be aware of. But anyway, I think I'm gonna end it here, and in the next part, I'll pick it up and I'll probably do the Colossus. So let me just grab this gem while I'm here. So, thanks for